This is Piers Morgan Live. And what about Eric Holder, who runs a department that has been effectively bugging uh, the Associated Press, getting all their phone records for maybe up to 100 journalists. But he apparently knows nothing about this, still knows nothing about this. Uh, says he recused himself, but there's no paperwork. Some people say, hang on, you can't have that. The Attorney General should consider his position, should he? Yeah, I, I think so. And again, this is part of a larger pattern that I, I do think it obviously disturbs conservatives. I think it ought to conserve every American, regardless of one's political stripe or flavor. And that is the pattern within the executive branch, within the administration, of, of overstepping bounds. And, and so if you look at here the, the size and scale of, of the, you know, the AP um, investigation, its scale is completely out of bounds with what you've seen in the past. And, and this fits with, the, I guess, this larger notion of, of you know, what we saw, for instance, in Charleston, South Carolina, we had the National Labor Relations Board stepping in, uh, dictating where Boeing might or might not go, based on avoiding advice and consent to the United States Senate with, with regard to executive branch appointment. So I, th I think that the frustrating thing for a lot of folks as they begin to look into these three different uh, minefields is has there been a pattern of the executive branch overstretching with regard to what it historically done, particularly as it relates to, I think, a great tradition in this country, which is an independent and open press.